the continuation of this whole situation. Hey, I just run. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome to part three of Lone John Silver's drama. Yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. It's a different background. <laughs> well, I'm in my apartment, inside of my restroom, doing YouTube because I'm babysitting London, my girlfriend's daughter. Well, she's my daughter now too. She actually taking a nap right now. I couldn't go out to the car because she not gonna let me do this video without interrupting me. So she in there taking a nap right now. Let's take a look at her taking her nap. Oh, she looks so peaceful when she's sleeping. Oh, I think I woke up. Uh oh. She sleeps so wild too. Look at her bed. <laughs> she got stuff all over. Did I wake you up? Yeah, I woke up. <laughs> Go back to sleep now, okay? Oops. <laughs> I think I woke up. <laughs> but we're gonna get on with the story. Hopefully she don't bother us. But if she do want to get in the video, I'll let her get in the video. But she knows nothing about my Long John Silver story time videos. Well, actually she do, but she probably don't really remember it because she was in her own little world. But she was at Long John Silver's when some of this stuff was going down. Well, let's get into part three. Part three of this story time video. It's story time, baby. Yay, story time, story time. All right, so let's get to the story time. All right, so Brittany really wanted Tammy to be a shift manager at the store because I was only part-time at this location because I was working at another location, but that's another story for another day. So I was working at two Long John Silver's locations. I was part-time at the other location and I was part-time at this location which is my home store. So, Brittany wanted Tammy to be a shift manager so bad, like so, so bad, but I just didn't think she was ready because she was messing up a lot of orders and she was moving so damn fast. So, me personally didn't think she was ready and I had told Tony one night, I was like, Tony, I really don't think that Brittany is qualified to be a shift manager. You know, she come to work drunk, she be messing up on orders, she do things so fast and she going through things in her personal life like her baby daddy trying to kill people, trying to kill her and trying to kill his own kids. So I said, I just don't think that she qualifies. She got too many distractions going on, just way too many distractions. And she couldn't work past 10 o'clock because she had to take her son. She had to pick up her son from home, which is like 10, 15 minutes away from the job and take him to Whataburger because he worked at the Whataburger across the street from us so she just had too many she just had way too much going on like way 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 too much stuff going on so i had told tony that and tony agreed with me tony said yeah i don't think she ready either you know she she just needs to take her time you know take her time and stop getting high and everything because he used to get high with her and he said you know i get high with her and everything but you know i try to tell hey tammy you know slow your roll slow your roll i said exactly so I had went to the other location the next day because I had to work at both locations at two stores the next day. So I went over way across town to the other Long John Silver's and then I had got to my back to my home store where Tony, Tammy, and Brittany work at. So I had walked in the door, Brittany say, hey Charles, let me talk to you in the back real quick. And I was like, okay. So she pulled me aside and she said, I don't know what your issue is with Tammy, but you need to stop it because she's gonna be training to be a shift manager. And I said, what? A shift manager? Since when? Did Amy say anything about this? Cause I didn't know that she was supposed to be a shift manager. Like this is news to me. Like I had no idea that she was supposed to be training to be a shift manager. She said, yeah, I talked to Amy and Amy agrees with it. So I'm gonna be training her. So I'm gonna need you to stop talking down on her and to help her out because I don't do the gossip. So I'm thinking to myself, Tony, Tony must've told Tammy what I said about her. That snake. 
That's Snake. Tony's a snake. And I didn't tell Brittany that I told Tony. I say, well, the only thing that I said was that she needs to stop rushing with the orders because she messing up the orders. Brittany say, no, today we had a bunch of orders. We had a huge order. It was like for 300 some dollars. They had ordered 20, uh, the number 12s, because the number 12 come with two fish and three chicken planks and two sours. She said they ordered 20 of them and Tammy did a phenomenal job. I mean, she had all the boxes set up waiting for them, we're just ready for the orders. And she just dished them out. She made sure they were labeled correctly, made sure everything was in there because they wanted different side orders for everyone. She made sure they were all in there. She told the customer, hey, look, this is in there. She labeled everything right. She did a great job. You know, she does good when it's really busy and when we have large orders. She does a phenomenal job. I say, well, I'm gonna just be honest with you, you know, if she's going to be a shift manager, she can't be messing up so much. You know, she needs to work on that. You know, she's already fast with it, but she messed up the order so much. She was like, instead of putting her down, you need to help her. And also, you also need to stop letting the other Lone John Silver's location borrow french fries. I said, what other Lone John Silver's location? You mean the location I'm helping out? She said, no, not that location. The other location, because we used to have another manager another store manager see amy's the store manager at this store but before amy we had another store manager and her name is i'm gonna call her susie so susie used to be the old store manager at the location that she transferred over to the to another location so she was telling me you need to stop letting susie borrow french fries from my location because now we're always heavy on our fries when we do our inventory I said, I'm not letting Susie borrow nothing. I said, whatever Susie borrows, I talk to Amy first. She said, no, you don't, no, you don't. You take the initiative to let her come over here and get the fries and don't even say nothing. I'm like, what? I do what? And she was like, what? Let, let me stop that. If you are doing it, please stop it because we're messing up on our fries and stop talking down on Tammy. I'm like, lady, you don't even know what I'm doing when you're not here. I don't let nobody borrow product. It's not my location. You know, I'm not the big boss of this location. I'm just a shift manager. So why would I let another store manager from another location come over here and borrow fries without talking to Amy? Like, come on now, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid, why would I do that? So Brittany left and I came on duty and I just felt some type of way because I know that Tony told, but Tony wasn't working on that night when I was working. He worked that morning with Brittany and Tammy, and he had told, he had to tell Tammy because he, I was, he was the only one that I told that to. So I know that he told Tammy something. So now at that moment, I knew that I could not trust Tony. So the next day, Tony came to work. I wasn't really talking to him because I knew that he had told Tammy something. So we just started talking. Then he started talking about Brittany. I forgot what he was saying. He was saying something about Brittany. Then we just started having a conversation. Then it led into when Brittany had told me that I said something about Tammy. So I brought that to Tony's attention. Tony was a man of his word. He was like, man, you know what? I was the one that told Tammy that, man. I didn't think it was no big deal. I just told Tammy, you know, you need to get your shit together. You know, you're trying to be a shift manager because Charles feel like you be messing up on the orders. I said, but why would you tell her that, Tony? You know, that was not right for you to tell her that. You know, I was gonna tell her as a man. So I said, you know, it's just too much drama over here. Way too much drama. I say, we need to have a meeting. We need to have a meeting. And then another one of our cashiers, she had told me, that Britney's always talking about me. I'm like, what? Talking about me? She said, yeah, she's always saying that you're letting the other location borrow fries from us. I said, you know what? She did tell me that too. I said, but why would I let them borrow fries without talking to Amy first? She said, yeah, she thinks that you're stealing money too. I said, stealing money? She said, yeah, she's always talking down on you. And I knew she was telling the truth because Britney came to me and told me about the fries. So I know Britney talked about a lot of people behind their backs. So I said, oh, okay, I know exactly how to approach Brittany. I know exactly how to approach Brittany because I don't like drama. I don't like working in an environment where there's drama. So we're gonna fast forward to the day when I had to pull Tammy and Amy aside. So I came to work, 
time he was working and Amy was working. They were actually about to get off and within the next hour. So I saw Tammy, I said, Tammy and Amy, I need to talk to both of you guys in the back. They were looking like, okay. So we went to the back of the store. I say, okay, Tammy, I don't want no drama. I don't like drama. I don't like he say, she say type of mess. I say, I'm gonna just come to you as a manager. She said, okay, what's going on? What's up? I said, well, Brittany feels like I was talking down on you about making the orders, how you mess up with the orders. I say, I'm gonna just be honest with you. You a good worker. You are a good worker. You have a great personality. It's just you, you be rushing with the order so much that you forget things. I say, you just need to slow it down because I want you to be a shift manager. I want you to be one because I'm only part-time at this location because I help out another location. She said, oh yeah, you know, uh, somebody, a little birdie told me. I said, I know who told you, but I'm not, we're not gonna get into that. I said, but we talked about it and he's sorry. I know who told you. She was like, oh, well, well yeah, a little birdie. I said, that little birdie, I know who that little birdie is. But he said that he didn't mean it. But what I'm telling you is just slow down, take your time with the orders, and everything gonna be all right. Study the material, because we have like a big old packet that you had to study. Just study all that, you'll be fine. A Amy even agreed with me. She like, yeah, yeah, just study everything. You know, you, you do a great job. I said, also, this is another thing that I wanna touch up on. I want to touch up on the whole fry situation. Now, Brittany's going around telling everybody that I'm letting the other location borrow fries. I'm letting Susie come over here and take fries and take to her location. Amy say, I don't know anything about that. I said, well, that's what a lot of people saying. I said, but I'm not listening to those other people because Brittany came to me first and told me myself. And then after she told me, then that's when the other people start saying so. I said, so she gotta be gossiping about me letting Susan borrow fries, which I'm not letting her do because she always comes to me when she needs product and I always come to you and ask you, is it okay? She said, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You always come to me. I don't understand why there's a problem. I said, well, she says, Brittany says that the inventory on the fries is always coming up short when I work, but when other people work, it don't come up short. Amy say, well, you're hardly ever here because I finished off the week and we were missing like seven pounds of fries and I was wondering what was going on. Then one week we were missing 30 pounds of fries, but you're hardly ever here. So I don't understand why she would just blame it on you. It's not just you giving out fries. I said, well, she says that that's why you're heavy on fries. She said, I'm gonna have to talk to her about that. I said, please do, because I don't like no drama. I don't like no he say, she say type of mess. I said, that's not how I roll. Tammy said, yeah, I'm the same way. I don't like he say, she say type of drama. And so, Amy was like, well, I'm gonna talk to her about that. So Amy had left for the day. Tammy was still here. Then we had got a rude customer. So this lady had came in the door. Like I say in the previous video, we were only working off of one register because it was real slow on this particular day. You know, we only had to drive through register working. And well, we actually had two registers. We had to drive through register and we had to register in the front, but the register in the front, we were only taking credit card orders and DoorDash orders on. So we wouldn't have to count it. So that way we wouldn't have so much work to do because it was slow. And then drive through was just strictly credit card and cash only. So the customer came in Tammy was on break and Tammy decides to get up out of her seat and say, this register is for credit card only, not cash. So the lady was like, okay, can I look at the damn menu first? And so she was like, you don't have to get an attitude with me. That's what Tammy said. I'm like, wait a minute, you on break. So why are you messing with this lady? So the lady started going back and forth with her. She was like, okay, first of all, I just walked through the door. So can you at least greet me before saying, oh, this register is for cash only. I mean, for credit card only, not cash. So I'm like, okay, guys, just calm down, just calm down. So Tammy gonna say, you don't have to have an attitude either. I think that you're racist. I think you're racist. So I'm looking at Tammy like, okay, she's Hispanic and you're Hispanic too. So how is she racist? Even though Tammy did have some black in her, 
But how the hell you gonna call this lady a racist if y'all both Hispanic? Like, come on, she a racist against her own kind? So the lady said, stop it before I call corporate on you. Stop it right now. I said, yeah, just calm down. Just calm down, Tammy. Go sit back down. You won't break anyway. So go sit down. Let me take care of this customer. So we had the cashier. I'm going to call her. What can I call this cashier? I'm going to call her Alejandra. So Alejandra was just sitting there, just standing there like, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm so, so, so sorry. That's how she talked. She talked like she got that little squeaky voice. She kind of reminded me of Dora the Explorer. She said, ma'am, I do apologize for the inconvenience. <laughs> so Tammy was like, this bitch got me effed up. She got me all effed up. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I told Tammy, I said, stop it, or she gonna call corporate office. Just stop it, just stop it. And she just kept messing with her or whatever. So she was like, I'm paying with a credit card, ma'am. I'm paying with a credit card, ma'am. Is it okay if I pay on this register, ma'am? Is it okay if I pay on this register, ma'am? She said, you can pay on whichever register you want to pay on. I was just letting you know that we're only accepting credit cards on this order, on this register. So you don't have to get an attitude. I'm pushing her like, Tammy, go to the back. Go to the back, Tammy. Go to the back. Go to the back. <laughs> so I'm gonna just end this part. I'm going to just end part three on this note. She had a rude customer. You guys got to stay tuned for part four because on part four, you're going to see the continuation of this whole situation. Hey, I just run. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll see you guys on part four. Peace out.